Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to review for you infrared thermometer from Parkside, available at Lille. And on the beginning it will be a, a description about the features and later on we will uh, move into a practical test. So, uh, let's say my, my um, first impression uh, judgment, mm, I would say positive, uh, because it's, uh, it's light. Uh, it's nice. Uh, it's 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 good to to handle. Um, the this coating has a I would say soft touch feeling. Uh, rubber. It's a little bit rigid, but I would say uh, good enough. Don't has to be uh, too much grippy because uh, the 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 thermometer um, uh, it's uh, in fact uh, quite light. So uh, yes, mm, about functionality, everything is uh, I would say very. Uh, intuitive on off you can change from Celsius into a Fahrenheit uh, easy I would say very easy to to uh, to handle in terms of features measurement measuring range it's uh, the most important and it is from minus 50 Celsius up to uh, 380 Celsius the deviation in measuring it's uh, for Celsius, uh, it's a uh, plus minus one, uh, one and a half Celsius uh, for temperatures that are be uh, below zero, and for the um, uh, for temperatures above, it's uh, three degrees. So I would say, for small temperatures like let's say my skin temperature, three degrees, it's a uh, I would say uh, quite much. But it's not for um, checking the fever purpose, but just to have a uh, roughly feeling what is the temperature that you are measuring. So, three degrees. If it is plus minus, <laughs> okay. In this way, it's uh, on minus side. So rather 37 than uh, 31 because I would <laughs> I would need a uh, medical assistance if I would have um, 31 uh, Celsius. So you can straight away see how it's. Uh, performing but with temperatures uh, let's say above 100 um, uh, degrees I would say three uh, degrees of Celsius it's not a it should not be a uh, big deal uh, optic uh, ratio of measuring distance uh, uh, between and measuring um, range it's a 12 uh, to 1 so you can spot it by those dots so this is the the ratio and what else um, it's a, it has a selective uh, reference level uh, between 0.5 and uh, 5.5 uh, degrees Celsius and as I mentioned at the beginning measuring units uh, you can uh, swap in between Celsius and, and Fahrenheit. Uh, as always uh, safety first so please be aware that uh, it, it, it has a laser pointer so uh, never ever stick uh, or, or flash your eyes with it uh, and what else <clears throat> mm, from the nice features I would say battery uh, change indication and automatically switch off upper, after 60 seconds so it will save your 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 uh, your energy um, yeah let's move into a practical test I will measure few things uh, and I will I will check how it is uh, behaving, but starting from my skin level, not so much. And the deviation is even even higher right now. Let me check it how it will react. And I think the change is most uh, important. Uh, my skin thirty something, the desk twenty something. At least is consistent in this what what he is uh, what he is doing um, on the downsides I would say one thing actually the the batteries because um, those are not so standard okay they are quite common but I would say triple A it's 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 more common than those uh, nine uh, volts so I would rather expect to have a option in, uh, that this this chassis could be a little bit um, not chassis, sorry, the body of this thermometer 
could be a little bit bigger and I would and I could uh, install it uh, with uh, uh, tri triple A or sorry double A batteries or triple A if needed but just to keep in the with this standard because this 9 volts maybe they are quite powerful and uh, lasting long but uh, if you need them you will have a at least a small problem to to find or maybe I'm just looking uh, uh, maybe I'm to my criticism is too too high uh, okay let's move into a practical test